Hello, Chef Chuck. This is me, Maya Chef Chuck, and today we'll be using these cherries to make a jar for the dolls. But we're going to start with making a jar. This week I've sort of decided to make something simpler, but yet something that I hadn't done before. So, to make the jar, I'm going to use some plastic bottles and I'm going to tape it. Now I need more tape to keep doing this. I don't want to affect the transparency, so going to stop here, but I ever seal this in. After taping it all up, I've reached this, however, balancing isn't that easy, but if I fill it in, it's going to be okay. But the cherries is making it top heavy, so just so I will know because I'm going to use the cherry to as a cap for it. So that's why it's doing this to me. I was going to make the cherries a lid to the jar, but that didn't work, so this is where the plan started to change. Instead, I'm doing a lollipop, but the plastic thing is added from a plastic bottle, and now I'm going to tape it together to make it more lollipop-like. Now that looks more like a lollipop now. When the cherry is a lollipop, well... Hmm... I think I want to add a bit more red to the cherries. Even though I'm not planning to change the cherries as much as some of them that I did in Idea Sundays, but only a little micro bit. Probably the least changed one that I will do for the series and on my channel. Just covering the blue spots to see what happens. Nope. What if this? Hmm. What am I doing? Maybe I'll get more pink. Only a little bit of a change, but that's fine. Just recently lost motivation to do these videos. So that's why I'm not changing it that much this week. What if I add this glitter glue. Yes! However, I'm starting to feel inspired for the Nicholas Mello movie. 
which is the Litchi Lolly Mallow Beach. Maybe I'll do the cherry themed on that. Because I now have an idea. To the lollipop, I'm adding these sparkles to finish the image. And I'm going to mix until it looks good. Okay, time to let it dry. While the cherries were drying and these jars, while the cherry was drying, I was doing the jars. There's one pink one and one black one, and that made me think of, hmm, what about turning the green stems black, just so it would match the Litchi Mallow Seafoam Bushes So half of it pink, half of it black What do you think? Please tell me Hmm I know I'm going to see what it looks like I could always paint over it green again if I don't like it with the black so, but Sharpies are a permanent marker, so please keep in mind that. Or I could just darken the green if I don't like it black. So let's see if I, I will do this black Sharpie and see if I like it. I've sharpied it black and I do like the color green but the black just fits my aesthetic with the pink more than the green. What do you think? It's just more of my aesthetics would, would say. With that neon pink the black looks better than the green. Okay, all I have to do to the black knife is to add the black glitter glue and these butterfly micro sequins. this stage, I've decided to call this finished and there has been an unusual package that has arrived in Marenka Mello's store. What will she think of it? Sugar Swirl, please get the package! I'm so sorry, Majen Camelo. Your package has been accidentally swapped. Oh no! Well, let's see what's inside. Help! Help! I'm stuck inside the box! Okay, Majenka, let's get you out of this box. Majenka? Well, I ordered lychee lolly mallow beach doll houses. However, lollipops arrive instead. Could you please clean this place up and send these lollipops back to the Amazon delivery service? 
Oki! Actually, Marzenka, I ordered this. And I forgot about it. You can keep it. Oh, thanks, Sugar Swirl! But what to do with the other lollipops? I have an idea!